Hey there, welcome back to Video Games Club Podcast. The game this week is called Spelldrifter, a grid-based deck-building strategy game. Go ahead and set up your painted minis and join us for the podcast. All right. So, Spelldrifter. Yep. Spelldrifter is a weird game. (laughs) Yeah. Um... So, so it's 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 very strange. So it's a grid based like tactical uh, RPG style game, but with cards. But with cards. So imagine like a Final Fantasy Tactics or a Fire Emblem, or where like it's Fire grid based. Emblem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you know you have a set number of characters. In this case, you it's have like three. You have like a deck that you can go that your characters go through. Right, each character gets their own deck uh, that you can modify, which is, mm-hmm. is honestly, when I first looked at it, I was like, how could that possibly work? But it, it kind of does. The farther you get into it, 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 really, it really does. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's very strange because uh, the reason, or like, you get 20 cards, but you can't go below 20 cards per deck. Because I'm like, you know what, it's a deck building Whoa. game, right? Huh? I thought it was above. I thought it was above 20 cards. Well, you can't go below or above. You have to have 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was like, you know, it's a deck building game. And you know what's good about deck building? You can just get like five cards, like five really good cards. And you pretty much crush everything that you come into contact with, right? And I'm like, oh, so I'll do that. I'll just start removing all these cards that I don't want or don't use. And it'll be great. And the game's like... Yeah, you can't do no. that. No, that's <laughs> I'm like, oh, too easy. Huh. It'd be too easy. So, like, it is a deck building game, but it, it is limited in the sense that they want you to have 20 cards. Um, which, I mean, if, if you take a lot of things into account, it does make sense since there are technically 30 turns in any given map. And after you yeah, go yeah. over 30, you start taking, like, the turn number in damage. I don't know oh. if you've ever, you ever experienced I that. I haven't that done that. No, I yeah. almost did it a few times, but. So, yeah, right. it's like if you go too long, it, uh, it you starts die. killing you. Um, um, okay, so the art style yeah. in this game was, was very good. It was, um, it was like 3D mixed with. Pretty realistic. I, I mean. Yeah. Just I don't know if it's mixed with any. It's just mostly 3D. I would assume that this game was made in Unreal. If if it I was something else, I would be I very shocked. Says, I think it says it's made in Unreal. Um, because you know the the 3D models of all the characters are pretty high resolution, and yeah. like they're all pretty well detailed with like their their like armor and their weapons and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like. You know, it it's got it can't be like there there really isn't another good 3D engine out there. <laughs> I mean, uh there is, but you know, no, not a lot of people really use it for 3D things. It's mostly mostly 2D things. Um you're talking about uh yeah, the, the one that one. I can't remember that people were boycotting recently. Uh Yeah, I don't I don't remember either. Unity. Unity. Yeah, that's the one. Nobody um, uses Unity for 3D models. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. It defi- nobody, I definitely played some 3D Unity n- games. Nobody but... uses Unity anymore. I mean, I don't know if that's true. It's just going to be... Not to... Uh, no. <laughs> more upscale, right, I would we'll, say. We'll, uh, we'll leave that there. But, yeah, I mean, like, the art is really good. The mo- the 3D models mm, are really the good. They're all very fluid, very cool animations, I would very say. Very detailed. I will admit that I only played with like three, maybe four characters um, out of the like. Uh, the, the non 3D models are pretty good too. Like the 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 like portraits. I think there's seven the characters character total, portrait. maybe eight. Anyway, yeah, I only played with like half of them. But, but yeah, uh, no, the the 2D yeah, models. Yeah. The character portraits are very nice as well. Yeah, I mean, I'll admit, like there were quite a few of the like enemy models or enemy art pictures that were pretty neat um like a few of them have like some really unique like idle animations during Mm -hmm. battle 
like they're the one that got really annoying after you fought them like 18 times. I don't know if you ever fought this guy, but um, you he's got he's wearing like a, a big face mask and a, he uses a big shield and his idle animation is he'll, he'll like smack his sword against his shield. He'll like clink clink every once in a while. And oh, my God, like, like, please, sir, <laughs> you're destroying yeah. my ears. Just every time he clink clanks, it's just oh, it's no, like, you can stop, please. Turn the game down. <laughs> no, I know I can. And I did. I did multiple times. I'm just saying that like, like nobody else had a noisy idle animation, but this one. Enemy. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's like I oh, see. I gotta fight this guy. Like, I better kill him first because otherwise I'll be really annoyed the entire time I'm fighting. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, like, I, I. It looks like they really put a lot of work into. It looks like a very well made game. Well, I'm very... yeah. I'm just saying, like, um, what would it be? You know how there are sometimes when you look at like mobile games or certain other games where they have the three D and then the two D, but the two D does not match the three D like at a all. Off. Yeah. Yeah. This game, I think, did a really good job bridging that gap. Mm-hmm. Um art style wise the the models between the 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 dimensions they they match pretty well so that's good um yeah. <laughs> what well, do you want to say anything about the music they i'll just <laughs> say one thing they really really <laughs> really like electric guitar like they like it's heavy metal literally so everywhere. much <laughs> In oh, the like, man. even in like, I'm pretty sure the like soft, like soft melody music, I'm pretty sure there was an is electric done with guitar an electric guitar. guitar. Yeah. It's like every time you do something good, it's like, yeah, it, it is like, oh my gosh. They, they definitely lean into this like weird, like heavy metal audio aesthetic. Yeah. I, like, really I hard. Don't don't know why like there's there's so much i i don't i don't want to say that it's a bad thing because i really like electric guitar but it yeah, definitely I mean, it definitely but got old after like the 20th mission <laughs> like, that, and especially uh, since it plays the same sound every time you open a chest and complete a oh, mission yeah. too like, that is true that is true every time you open a chest it the, would play the same riff the repetition uh got um pretty and also it was so loud yeah oh i had to turn it down to 50 percent immediately whenever you start up the game and i'm pretty sure you can't control the volume of this one of the like intros the like company intros or whatever Mm -hmm. is so fucking loud yeah it's insane it's like it's actually excuse my language genuinely insane um probably have to you probably have to censor that that's fine i'll figure it out Um, but yeah it's it was so loud yeah, I like, I even I even turned the the game volume to like almost zero, and it that intro was still very very loud. I want to say by the end of playing, my game sounds were at like fifteen percent because like yeah. I just kept going in and turning them lower and lower because I'm like, holy shit, mm-hmm. like this is getting this is getting this ridiculous. Is wow, <laughs> <laughs> like why? My please, one already. Why why is it so loud still? Uh, if if. They had, like, had a lot of variants. If they had had a lot of, like, cool different riffs, mm-hmm. it would have been neat, you know? Yeah. If, if they had had maybe, I want to say, like, five or six different tunes that they played whenever you opened a chest and then they just randomized it, that would have been neat. That would be that would have been great. You know, you you give, you give the player, the person listening, a lot of variants to the point where they... You know, if they play it for a hundred hours, they're gonna know. You know, I mean, yeah, they're gonna know the variance. The, the variance, like, but you know, you you play it one time through, and you're not gonna notice that. But like yeah. this time, by the sixth chest, you're like, okay, I get it. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, please stop. I'm I'm my ears are destroyed. I'm ready I to turn everything chest. off. Yeah. Um, Just don't open anymore, please. So I'm looking at this, and this is this is well past the number of hours that I said it would take. 
Um, I know yeah. that we usually save this for the end, but like I'm just talking about getting things getting old in terms of like the music. Uh, so my recordings total up to five five hours and fifteen minutes, four hours mm-hmm. and fifty five minutes, five hours and twenty three minutes, five hours and twenty minutes, three hours and fifty seven minutes. So that's 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 like uh, twenty like twenty four like, hours, yeah. almost twenty five hours. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, I, I really, <laughs> I, I know that you didn't finish this game, but I definitely like crammed the hours in this week cause I didn't have any yeah. homework. It was very nice, but like, I, I really chewed through this game. Let me tell you. Yeah. You did. Um, it's, it's honestly no surprise that you didn't end up being able to finish with, you know, having a work schedule and whatnot. But, uh, anyway, yeah. um, so the story of this game, uh, <sighs> is weird isn't there like several yeah there are there are several um so like there is five characters i want to say that have a story all the other ones like the three recruitable characters don't really get a story they're just they're just units okay they're um, like one of the ones that I used, I he's like the bringer of death or whatever, and he looks like a demon with a mask on. Um, okay. He doesn't really get a story. He just kind of shows up after you beat a boss, an optional boss, and then you recruit him, and it's like, oh, cool. <laughs> um, okay, neat. And then, okay, so like the overarching story is that you're trying to make it to the center of this labyrinth, right? Yeah. Um, which I want to say starts on the second map, um, which is like at the center of the city and you have to like make your way through the city and that's the first map. And then the second map is like you entering the labyrinth and it's like the outskirts uh, of the labyrinth. I'm going to be honest. I, uh, never made it through the city. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk about the difficulty of this game in a minute. Um, but yeah, it, it was definitely it was definitely something. I will give I will give you that. Um I'm not surprised. Judging by like how many of these type of games that you've played that you didn't really get too far. Yeah. It took, I mean, it took I also, me a minute to get through some of the harder levels. I just didn't play very much of this game. I had I had other things to do this week. Yeah, I mean that that happens. That's fine. Um I mean you played you played enough to where I think you can give a decent opinion. Maybe not of like the mm-hmm. later levels, but yeah, yeah. Um, we'll talk about it anyway. Uh, so the story of the main game is you're supposed to be stopping like this, this guy, this guy who is, uh, actually the main character, you know, the, the like title character, the dude with the big sword, his, um, like, I want to say not his protege, protege, but like his master, the person who taught him how to fight. Oh, okay, um, yeah. And so, like, he's at the center of all this. And so that's why this guy's, like, upsetty spaghetti. And he's, like, going after this guy because he died and he came back to life, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's... That, that was the thing they said. It was, like, he died and then, like, went to, I guess, whatever equivalent to, the, like, Gates of Valhalla or something. Right. And they're just like, uh, no, you got shit to do. Get yeah. Back there. They're like, we need, your, <laughs> you, we need you to haunt this land still. Uh. So he's like, okay, well, uh, your whole he goal back to life, comes back to life as like a changed man because he used to be like a really big criminal. Yeah. Uh, so your whole goal is to go find this other guy and stop him from like unleashing the forces of the undead basically on the world, which is like something I was like, that's really weird. You know, you know, there, mm-hmm. there are some like, m- there's actually a trend in like metal bands out there where they. Um, they talk about this like grand adventure, you know, we're going to go out into this fantasy land and, uh, and like, like kill all these things and gain glory and blah, 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 blah. Um, me, it's, it's a band. I don't remember what it's called. Okay. Rhapsody of fire. You might actually look this up cause it's, it's very similar to, um, who sang, uh, through the fire and the flames, dragon, dragon force. force. Uh, it's it's a sim- it's a similar like vibe as as Dragon Force where like they just sing about this sort of thing and like their whole album that I listen to Rhapsody of Fire is like talking about this like 
slated hero that's going off into the land, bearing the emerald sword and fighting off evil and destroying the army of darkness and stuff like that. It's like, it's like, oh, uh, Rhapsody of Fire. Is that the band name? Because it's not coming up on YouTube. That's what it is. Uh, You can search Emerald Sword. Um, anyway, uh, so like that's what I what I thought that this was gonna like go with, and it was gonna start like progressively getting more like metal. Oh, right. Um, but it didn't. <laughs> uh, it did not. It did not do that. Um, but the but the story is is very is is still very similar. It seems okay. Um, and then okay, and then you have the priest who's going with because she has like some spiritual investment in not you know letting this the army of undead out in the world which makes sense yeah 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 makes sense uh the rogue guy is whatever are are like uh lady you got you got to go there to make this not happen she's like oh the mage no no no, the god like the her the the priest lady's god oh yeah yeah of course like talks to her and is like uh, go stop this. Yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. okay. She's like, you're right. I'm on it. Uh, but you gotta give me magical powers, though. And she's like, yep, sure thing. Here you go. Uh, and she's like, all right, I'm gonna take all these these uh, devout worshippers that you have given me. And he's like, nope, you gotta do it yourself. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, go thanks. Find, go find the uh, these people. Well, because like, will also help to help. So like, when you play through the pro. Uh, we'll we'll talk more about this in the uh, the gameplay section, but when you go into the prologue, I was like, "Oh, this is neat!" You know, y- you choose a commander, right? And then you get commander mm-hmm. powers. It's like magic, but you know, different. Where you you know you could you can like maybe you can summon things and you get more allies that way and blah blah blah. No, that's not the case at all. Because I was no. like, "Oh man, what if you like get your your hero character and then like your hero character is fully invested in like." in like healing and yeah, you gotta keep people I, alive. I was like, oh, that'd be so cool. That's a, such a cool the, idea. Yeah, no, that's not it at all. And it's like you get to play as the one character and then the other character like acts on their own. Right. And I, I like, thought that was gonna be like that the whole game. You get to be one character and then you're all these other like neutral characters, like AI characters. Right. But, yeah, that's, that's not well. it at all. Oh, well. Um, and then, okay, so, and then you have the, the fire mage girl whose brother ends up dying, uh, uh, in spite of the fact that if he dies in the prologue, you get a game over. Um, he dies and you, she's looking for him because when he died, his like soul, yeah, his soul gets transferred into like a living flame monster and it's like, oh, that's kind of neat of an idea and and you don't get him as a character yeah no you don't um because like her her whole thing is she's trying to find a way to reverse it right well i'll spoil that for you and anyone listening um i'm gonna be honest the story it's it really takes a backseat to pretty much everything in the game like this game is a mostly gameplay yeah Um, that's fine i'll spoil it for you it, you find him in the like land of the dead and he's like yeah i've just been chilling here um yeah i'm at peace yeah go ahead and go on with your life uh yeah i'll see you later and he just he takes off you just off and <laughs> and i'm like cool. you're like oh huh okay and this is uh, after you, know, I, I you went like, all this way to to like save your ass and all right well, well this is after you like had killed the fire elemental that had his soul and so she was like all broken up and, and teary-eyed over the fact that we just killed her brother for good and he's like no nah, i'm good you know go ahead you're fine it's cool whatever okay you know whatever dude um let's see the rogue guy uh yeah he was in it for just like money like He's just airy, casual just rogue things, out. like, like <laughs> I'm in it. I'm in it to open doors and steal stuff from rich people. That was that was his thing. Like Pretty that was much. what he wanted to do. Um, Get paid to steal stuff from people. For yeah, people. whether that was like loot or information, he was basically a spy. Which you know, cool, whatever. I don't really Usually, care. 
yeah, rogues, whatever. I'm not really mad at that sort of archetype. I don't mind it. I usually play it from time to time anyway, um, like in D&D and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have the other, like, like fighter girl. Um, I'm not terribly clear on why she was there in the first place. I'm going to be completely honest with I you. I don't know either. She just kind of, like, shows up. And just tags along. Just yeah. Is there. And, like, that's it. She's just with you. And then she, like, talks a lot to a lot of people. And, like, whenever it's, like. I think it was more of, like, they they have to put someone in there to be, like, familiar, quote, unquote, in this with the city. Because yeah. all the people that you play as are, like, outsiders. Yeah. Well, I think the other thing is, is when so you're in the city, joke, when you're in the city, um, she's the one talking to the guards a lot. So I think she yeah. is more of just like the guide. Um, yeah, pretty much. The other thing is, is I believe you meet her at the end of the, the like quote unquote main character's prologue story. And so he's like, I'm going to go do this by myself. And she's like, don't do it. You'll die. And he's like, I've already died once. What could happen to me? And she's like, no, don't do it. I'll help you find a group of people that'll go with you. And I guess she's the one that like sort of puts the group together. So, yeah, I uh, I guess that's why she's important. I, you know, all right, cool. Um, sure. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, that's that's like kind of the story. There are a bunch of like small, like diverting stories of extra missions that you can do. They aren't really important. Um, side missions. Yeah. As, but as one does. Yeah, I mean, you. feel free to go in and read everything. There's a lot of text. I zoomed past quite a lot of it, but I did speed read the vast majority of it. Uh, so I could give the small explanation just now, but um, yeah, it's yeah. not really it's not really that impactful. Uh, the gameplay is actually the most important yeah. thing, the thing that they put the most amount of thought into. Mm-hmm. Uh, the gameplay that I really thought was going to be bad, even after playing it like the first, like I want to say the first half of the first uh, map of the real story, not the prologues. I was like, wow, this isn't good at all. Until I started actually like investing in trying to figure the game out. Yeah. And like, there's a lot of like inner working parts. Yep. Yeah. There, well, I, there's actually not that many inner working parts. It's just a lot of like clever uses for the small amount of mechanics that they give you. Yeah. Because so, they. Okay, so the the thing that you have to do when you first start this game is, like we said before, you build a 20-card deck, and you're given, like, 20 cards. So when you first start the game, you're like, all right, well, there's not a lot of deck building here. You just get what you're given, and you go fight. Um, pretty quickly, you figure out what is good and what is bad. You know, high-cost cards tend to be pretty bad in the early game, especially because you don't have a way to deal with the enemies while you're cooling down. Um, yeah. Uh, because, you know, there's no... All right, let me... I, I guess I should start from the beginning. Each card has a cost, but it is not an energy or mana or anything like that. It is turns. It's turn. Yeah, it's a turn cost. So if a card has a two cost, you use it, you gain the effect immediately, whether it's like healing or an attack or whatever it is, but you then have to wait five turns or ticks as they're known in the game. Or Well, if it's a two cost card, then it's two turns. But yeah. Oh, sorry. I was thinking five or something like that. Two ticks before you can act again as that character, mm-hmm. which gets really difficult for certain things but like as you like progress and you actually fill out the number of cards that you have uh and like gain a sense of like a build it becomes much easier to use like those you know the ticks essentially yeah because uh you can like there there's a card called like i think it's like retaliation or something for the fighter class and you basically can slap it on at the beginning. And if you get it turn one, you just charge out into the enemies and use it. And like, just like everyone dies (laughs) because it deals the same amount of damage back to them that they deal to you. And they're always going to attack you because you're right there. And so like 
my strategy for the vast majority of the game was take my big bulky sword man, put him out there whenever I got retaliation, kill all the little guys that way, and then use my two priests to heal him and then mop up the enemies after that. That was it. That was the strategy until, yeah. you know, later when I begin like consuming vast amounts of cheese. Um, so yeah, that's like the deck building portion. Uh, the other thing of note is that you can only use two of the same card. You cannot stack a deck with like five or six of the six of the same card. Yeah. So that makes sense. There's only two. And sometimes even if they're like legendary, uh, cards at the end, you can only get one of them. Yeah, because you um, only get one of them from, like, a chest. Right. And so, like, that's good, but also, like, annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, because but, then you still have to draw it. Yeah, and you, yeah, exactly. And, like, 2 out of 20 is it's only 10%. It's only, you know, there's only, it's only a small percent chance that you get that card first. So there were definitely times where I would go into a fight where I needed, the only way I could actually win was if I got X card first, right? And so yeah. I would just go in there and I, I just spam the, the reset button until I got that card. And once I got that card, I was like, cool, I can actually make an attempt on this level now, um, which is, is kind of annoying, but those were, those were definitely some of the like hardest fights in the game. Yeah, it sounds like it. Um, a lot of the other ones... I didn't really have too much trouble on once I got going. Uh, but the other notable thing about these, um, this game, the, the, the deck building is that there are obviously the actions, but then there were the artifacts. And you yeah. probably didn't get to play too much with the artifacts. I got a few, but. Yeah, maybe like. Probably none that made too beginning. much of an imp Probably none. None that made too much of an impact on the game. Right. Well, they definitely, like, get crazy as time goes on. Um, yeah. So, in the game, you level up your characters, your heroes, or whatever you want to call them. Um, and as you level them up, they gain what's called stars. 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 Uh, and uh, it's, like, 1 through 15, basically. And 15 is the highest. Yeah. And so you each artifact has a stars cost and so you need to equip the like combination of artifacts to fill out the number of stars that you have um and i i reached i reached level 15 by like the middle of the last map okay. on all my characters which you know is fine but i kind of wish that i'd either reached it earlier and had more time to play with like a maxed build or yeah. like there had been another map. And like, I, I know that I'm saying this after playing it for 25 hours, like, Oh, I wish there was another map, but like you really don't spend a lot of time at max power, which I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's just a personal preference thing. Um, I like it when you get like high power in these types of games. Um, and then, like, can actually just use all of your stuff at once. Yeah. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay that, it's okay that it ended. Having an ending is good. <laughs> um, one thing to note as well with the artifact versus action cards is that if you have a level 15 character, the only difference between them and a level one character is the artifacts that they can use. Uh, yeah. yeah. They all, they can all use the action. Right. Like part. if I had gone to the end of the game and I was like, Oh no, I really need to use a character, but they're level two. Um, I could well, I still use, use them. them with like really strong cards that I've been gathering throughout the entire game. But I'm pretty sure their health doesn't change. Does it? No, no. Everyone gets the same health. You actually can increase the health of, of, like each class probably with artifacts. With artifacts. Yeah. yeah. Um, some have stronger health uh, gaining cards than others, which yeah, makes yeah. sense. But um, yeah, no, um, you just, you just, you just have to like 
use the characters and you get stronger artifacts with them basically like there are, there are artifacts that are tied to what level you are and you, then you gain them from a, the level up it's like oh cool i'll just start using that right now but like if i needed to uh i think it was like the rogue had a card where you could shoot in a straight line and it would instant kill a structure mm, yeah um, which honestly was like probably something that i should have had or like leveled him up to have on hand if I came uh, into a few of the structure heavy levels because yeah. the structures were like, Oh, here's an enemy with like six armor and two health. But like, how often do you have something that can deal eight damage just straight up? Not very often. And my cheesy, like instant kill on minions card did not like you couldn't target buildings with them or structures with them so i was like okay well whatever um but yeah i mean this game this game definitely it definitely took a lot of care uh to set up its card and and artifact system like really well like honestly i i said this to you before but if this game had any more longevity i would i would definitely stream this game and play it over and over yeah now i want to talk about like, how do I say the difficulty spike? Difficulty <laughs> quotations in quotations. Um, I know you ran into this problem where, like, basically, anytime you get surrounded, you just die. By, by difficulty, you mean the enemies can do like six damage to you, and if you get shit cards. Uh, you deal nothing. And you just lose. Yeah. You just die because there's like six of them. Yeah. Um, the one thing that this game differs from other like grid-based uh, tactical games like it, uh, visually like it, is that even though it is boxes, all, I think it's, what is it, eight? Uh, eight, eight of the surrounding you. boxes are like you can target those boxes mm -hmm. as opposed to something like fire emblem where unless you have a two range card or card weapon in fire emblem uh you can't hit anything that far away right yeah you just hit the four boxes around you same with final fantasy tactics and all of its you know or all of its games after you know, if you get yeah. surrounded by four enemies, it's just four. You're not, it's not a huge deal that quickly. You know, whereas with this, it's like eight enemies around you in one turn, you will die. That's it. That's all. Yep. You die. That's it. No, because no, ifs, we ands, said, or buffs. But you get 20 health. Yeah. That's it. 20 health. Um, a few people start with armor, but like not many of them. And, yeah, and, and the card, the, the card that you get, like, because uh, first you have a hand, and then you've got the t like two cards that you use, your like weapon and shield card. Yeah, your basic that attack you can and use. your basic defense card. Yeah, which is uh, which is one. You get one, are like one block. Yeah, one for that armor. defense card. That's for the, it for the turn until the next turn. It's like if you got eight or six or like even just a few surrounding you, you've got one damage negated for right. every hit. And when usually they, they deal for, like three sometimes or Sometimes they can hit for like four or five. Yeah. Three or four, yeah. Something um, like that. So obviously... Then you, then you get the big guys, which deal like six oh, per I, hit. I, I, I was going to take a picture of it, but um, there was a... <laughs> there was an enemy who uh, was using a, a wind-up card that was winding up for four turns, and he would summon an enemy ally that had the health and damage of all the damage he took in the wind-up turns so i'm like i'm just gonna go for broke and deal as much damage to this guy as i can and try and kill him before this little summon comes wind out. up yeah and <laughs> uh i did not get any damage cards so I ended up getting a 15 health, 15 damage guy that summoned right next to me and just one shot one of my priests 
whenever they got a yeah. turn. I was like, what have I done to myself? Oh, no. Yeah, that sounds completely fair. Uh, I mean, it, like, it's totally fair. You Like, it tells you whenever they're doing stuff. So as long as you That's read true, the cards, yeah. you know, you can counter these things. Plus, like, I did have cards that would uh, interrupt wind-up attacks. So, like, no big deal. Uh, I just didn't draw one. Um, I could have very yeah, easily that. just, like, hit defend until he brought it out, and then it would have summoned a 1-1 one, one ally, and I would have just murdered it immediately, you know? Like, I could have done that, but I didn't, because what's the fun? Um, turns out it just, like, turned around and killed, almost killed me, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, there is flaws in that, like, in that there, you know, you can get surrounded very easily. You get attacked from eight spots. Yeah. Uh, also, um, because of how the uh, the like ticks work, if you you know screw up like using your cards properly, you uh, the enemies that can hit like trucks go several times. Yeah, that is true. Um, you basically need to be mindful of when they go and how like how fast they are and so if you're doing that you can you can essentially keep them at arm's length or just like not let them do that yeah uh but that's a little bit harder once they get going sort of thing um which i totally understand it's just it's very it's very annoying in some parts um uh, but the other the other part that I would definitely criticize because I would say that 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 is is a very extremely like bad thing about this game is that it definitely can overwhelm a new player or a player that's not like into these kind of games where it'll just yeah. kick your ass and then you won't be able to do anything about it and like you'll go I don't want to play this anymore and you'll quit and like that's not a very good game mechanic you know um, yeah I do know I know you know um. That's that was me. I don't. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> uh, what was the other thing that I was? I was pretty heavily critical about. Um, I don't remember. Crap. I should I... have written this down. I really. I literally just had it a minute ago. Uh, yeah. There were definitely. There were definitely times when you were fighting bosses and they would just do attacks passively and then they would have their turn and it would just deal like absurd yeah. amounts of damage i i saw that too where it was just like the boss could just like pull a card do this and then like wind up right it's, it's like okay what the heck yeah why what, did you go what twice? do i do what do i do against this and really the answer is like you just have to play like you just have to get the right cards and there's nothing there's nothing else that you can do like, playing well yeah. is one thing, but, like, just getting the right cards, there's no replacement for that, uh, which is very frustrating, especially when you just don't over and over. Um, yeah. Which I would say is definitely a criticism, but that's, like, down to card games in general. Um, yeah, it's luck-based. Once you shuffle, it's, like, you, who knows what you're going to draw next. Right. But, yeah, I mean... I would I would say that if you like tactical games, if you like, you know, oh, oh, I remember. Oh, I, oh, okay. Before I go into the outro here, the other thing that I was going to criticize is the fact that every single down to, except for maybe two or three out of the like 50 maps, they're all just big rectangles. Oh, yeah. There's no like... There's no, like, obstacles or yeah. cover or No, like, anything. spots where you, like, you can step and suddenly you have plus one armor or a plus one attack or something like that. Like, no. I mean, there, okay, there are, there are drops. I, I don't really, like, those. There's drops that the enemies can drop whenever you kill them that stick around for, like, a few ticks. Yes, but um, here's the thing. I don't think. And they think... do. Go yeah, go ahead. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't. I didn't find them useful at all. There was never a time where I'm like, I'm going to walk over here away from my normal area to grab this and it's going to win me the game. Even though yeah. I was low health, going out of position to grab a health, like a, 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 an HP up little benefit thing, 
was would, less would be more detrimental than it would be more detrimental than the just enemy. hitting the enemy yeah or just staying in, um, in place and being defended by my allies although it did um there was an effect that the the rogue had that was like a passive effect that yeah um he can go pick up like pickups and can move again yeah that would probably... would, i think he would get like he would get something as well and then be able to move again. Yeah, that's probably the one time that like, I would have ever, ever done that, but I'd never used it. When did you ever them, use so. the, <laughs> the rogue, though? I, I, I genuinely was, was like, I don't, I don't like was, using the rogue, so I'm not going to. Kinda, he was kind of meh. Yeah. Um, okay, so if you like games like Fire Emblem, like Final Fantasy Tactics, like any of these other grid-based role-playing games... Yeah. If you like metal music, if you like quote unquote, uh, quote you like unquote stories, <laughs> yeah, this it game is for you for sure. Guitar. This game is for you for sure. I would yeah. give it just the a visuals minute. are great. So yeah, I would like honestly give this game like an eight point five or nine out of ten because I loved it so much. Yeah, I know that you did not enjoy it, and you I, are absolutely free to give it a low score. I didn't enjoy it as much. It was. I mean, you don't have to lie. It was to me. okay I, I whenever. Understand. No, no, I know, but I. It was okay whenever I like. Was like not overwhelmed by the enemies. Like there was a few times where like I played the the turns properly and the ticks and the stuff properly, and it was like ah, it's fine. I, it's how you're supposed to play the game. Right. Apparently, I I must have been doing something wrong. So I I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it like a like a I would say seven seven wow I'm, I'm I was I mean yeah, I would I know, I know I'm gonna it, I'm gonna be honest like, I was expecting like a five or a six for like you, a but... five or a six yeah I was gonna go maybe six but I'm gonna put it to a seven because like I mean maybe the the story may have gone to a like a back back seat but like as we said the visuals and maybe the music not so much but. I think a seven's a, a pretty okay. Okay, I mean, yeah, you're free to give it whatever you want. Obviously, I just, I, I don't want you to, I don't want you to overinflate your score want, just because. Yeah, I, I loved it as just much. Just because as I did. you like it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I understand. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, um, it's maybe it's, I'll move it to a six point five. It's then. a pretty fantastic Honestly. game, in my opinion. Um, I might play it again later in the future. I don't know I, if I ever have the time. I might, I might just like stream it for 24 hours and play that shit the whole time i don't know yeah, I mean, i'm crazy anyway go for it. <laughs> uh we got this on the epic game store i do believe that it is on steam as well for uh, i want to say 20 dollars 19.99 drifter yeah 19.99 on, on epic, and on epic steam. games it was made by free range games they didn't make anything else they were a publishing uh, a publisher they have published a few other games that are not on steam um but this is their one of their first like i'm pretty sure their first like full releases so mm. go give this a try if it's sitting in your if it's sitting in your epic games like having got it for free library, list library for free, yeah. um i would say that it's worth the 20 dollars but I can understand if you find these types of games very difficult or you don't really enjoy pa uh, uh, difficulty spikes, that's fine. Um, I'd say get it on sale. Get it on sale. Um, or don't. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a great yeah, game. I, mean, I would suggest you. it. Um, 8.5 out of 10, maybe 9 out of 10. Our next game is... Where's our next game? Severed Steel. Severed Steel. All right. This is another game we got from uh, Epic Games. Uh, I promise we will move away from those. We just, we just really Eventually, like free games. Yeah. You know, free games are free. Um, but yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys for listening. Yeah, thank you. And until next week, goodbye. All right. Bye-bye.